in Yosemite? Uh, Yosemite? Yosemite. I can't okay. say that word. It's okay. You're doing good. <laughs> um, we're having a great group here at Me and Keelan, right? Yep. Uh, we met this morning. He shared his amazing story. So tell us a little bit about who you are and how you make this change. I want, I want your people. All right. Well, my name is Kayla Miller. Um, I was always a big boy growing up. I mean, eighth grade year, I had to lose 20 pounds just to join the football team. So growing up, I was always a big boy. I loved food. So um, now that I'm a little bit older, you know, I got up to about 22, 23, and I stopped feeling comfortable with who I was. And I wanted to change who I was. So in doing that, one day I kind of broke down and had my little episode and said, you know, what do I need to do to change? And I got a little workout plan, um, and I just have stuck through it. And what it was is every morning you wake up, you do some sit-ups, do some push-ups. Um, I did these stretches that would get rid of the back. Um, I would do leg lifts. Um, Believe it or not, yoga is a huge, a huge thing that helps. And uh, just cutting what you're eating back. Uh, if you eat, you know, uh, two burgers at a fast food place, try to only eat the one. You know, try to cut what you're eating in half, and it, it can grow from there. Yeah, so please show us our amazing, our amazing, amazing progress. So, so my before and all the work. My progress is here. That so was me. How old you before? So this was this picture was taken when I was 23 uh, or 22. Um, I was in Morro Beach, <laughs> uh, but I had weighed 315 pounds at that time. So that was the biggest part of my life. Uh, I'd never been over about 280. Uh, after high school, you know, get mama's cooking. You're not doing the exercising that you would in the sports, and I gained a little bit of weight. Um, and it was my goal and my desire to change that. So three questions here. Okay. Did you have all the resources? Did you have the money? Did you have everything that you think people need to lose weight? Did you create your own resources? People think that they need all this money. They think that they need to be in a gym. They need a trainer. They need this and that to lose their weight. What it is, is it's a mindset. Um, if you change your mindset to want it, you're going to get it. Um, the biggest part of me, I did this all from my house. I did not go to the gym. Um, I did not do anything in the gym actually. I cut what I ate in half on my own. I did it all in my room in about a 10 by 10 room. And I would sit down and I would just every morning put on my music as soon as I woke up and I would bust out my workout. Uh, it consisted of three sets of 10 push-ups here, three sets of 10 push-ups here, and then I would do normally three sets of 20 of sit-ups. Um, when I would do my sit-ups, I would lay completely flat and then go all the way up and touch my toes. Um, and it was just, from there it started and it became an addiction and next thing I know it was uh, 10 minutes to 30 minutes to 30 minutes was enough to 45 so minutes. There, so right? you just progress even higher and higher and next thing you know it doesn't become where you want to do it, it becomes where you need to do it. It becomes a lifestyle and if you don't do it, you're, you're in a bad mood the rest of the day. Okay, you really are. Okay. The second question is, you mentioned that you had a certain point where you're like, enough is enough. I mean, I need to make a change. Yes. So, how did that how did you keep that motivation from day one to the point where you are now, to the point where you want to be next? What kept you going? I um, want to keep going and going. For, for the motivation part, yeah, that's the hard part. Um, motivation comes in time. Um, that's what people don't understand. And that's what I didn't understand at first. Um, you're doing your workout, you're thinking you're doing everything right, but you know what? It takes time for things to work, and it takes time to do it the right way. Um, and the way I lost my weight was the right way, and I'm not, you know, going to take pills or something like that to lose my weight. So, it, in the long run, you know, you're going to get down on yourself. You're going to think that you're not doing it right, but keeping yourself and just keep pushing yourself. Um, next thing you know, you're going to be doing everything perfect and you're going to look at yourself in the mirror and those chins that you had are going to disappear. And the third question is, what is your number one advice for everyone who's watching that wants to make that change? Um, people that are watching that are influenced by me that want to make that change, it starts in your heart. And then after your heart decides to make that move, then your brain is the most powerful thing. 
If your brain wakes up in the morning and you say you don't want to do it, flip that and say, no, I need to do it. And then one day at a time, you move it up, move it up, and next thing you know, you're not going to remind yourself. It's going to be programmed. You're going to sit down. Next thing you know, you're not going to be doing 10 push-ups. You're going to be doing 100. So just keep your mindset. Keep your, uh, your body into it. Keep your mind into it. And remember that life is very short, and you are the only person that can change your own life. Wow. You know, you guys, I have no, no words to that everything that I think is needed for everyone to understand the process and I can't thank you enough. I thank know. you. Thank you so much for the My words, pleasure. words and you know keep inspiring everyone to keep doing what you're doing. Absolutely. Thank I you will. Much.